people asking others doubts about technology or have you ever seen people elders asking their sons or grandsons why they are not able to do a specific, specific task on their phone or laptop yes i have been there and had my grandparents ask me the same or other doubts about using their laptops or phones and even i have got in bullied saying that i am a screen addicted person which is not true which i will mention afterwards yes one day as as i went to my granny's house as soon as i entered i heard many doubts from my grandpa and grandma i knew i was going to get tired and sorry solving these queries after i solved these queries i was very frustrated and started researching about why this happens and got to know that 3 out of 5 people have doubts about using their phones or laptops even during the 21st century when technology has advanced so much this is because they might not have understood it properly and sometimes there are some types of people whenever we try to teach them they don't they don't understand it which is also a problem and ha huh, most of the doubts are using a social media app or a app that is related to the work hi i am skanda kashyap and i am 13 years old i am also an nft technology enthusiast in my friend circle i uh, i i went to school many days i basically had an interest in video editing i had an interest in video editing i used to uh, like uh, like to edit every day but i did not have a good la pc that's why i used to go to a cafe and do video editing it used to take me 3 to 4 hours and per day i used to spend around 100 rupees and ha huh, i am from a middle class family so 100 rupees every day for a useless thing from which you don't from which your uh, your household people don't think there is any future in it is useless according to them that's why they stopped giving me money to go to the cafe and yeah i did i did not i was not able to video edit in my laptop because it was very old i researched a lot on the i searched the whole internet about what why why is the video did not running on my pc and all basically and video editors need a lot of random access memory and graphical processing unit power that's why they were not able to run on my system because it was so old i was damn serious that time i was like i need to eat video edit because i want people to learn more about technology and implement in their day to day lives and i have already researched in middle class family like mine parents sometimes don't allow children to pursue their passion because of their budget but many parents like mine supported me supported me every day till a certain point where i almost got screen addicted and yeah even it got on the news the video editor um, a normal video editor on youtube was selected to edit a movie in the famous movie kgf2 is exciting right yes but i had a problem i could not solve this issue so i had left video editing for a while and as soon as i wanted to start it back after i had my vacations in 2020 or 2019 i wanted to video edit but i did not have a device for it and yeah this in the covid pandemic also hit and all the cafes cyber cafes got closed i was shocked and i could not help to do video editing then i found one way there was me grandpa's old system which was new in in the 2020 2020 year it was still new because it was bought on 2012 i asked him if i could use it for video editing but he asked me i will give you the laptop for sure but what 
what is the guarantee you are going to help people i got motivated there i told my grandpa grandpa whatever whatever happens i will never stop helping people to learn about technology i will never stop teaching people the te- uh, technology of the 21st century and i am doing this because it the world will become a very safe place and a happy place to live he was enlightened so he yeah, was listening to me and he knew i was motivated so he gave me his laptop as soon as i got on i searched for lag free video editors and i got a list of them basically i downloaded each one of them but they started eventually lagging so i i could not do anything i researched online that why this is lagging and it, it seems that the ram on their device was very low ram stands for random access memory and this is one thing in your system which is very necessary if you don't have it you don't you can't open your system so basically i had to order ram from the internet and i ha- i self i i selfly installed it in the laptop then when i started using the using all the video editing pro- programs i st- finally started a youtube channel called tech freaky gamer it still might be on there on the internet i have been a little i had been a lit- i had taken a lot of gaps in, in between videos because every time there used to be a problem i whenever my friends found out that i uploaded a new video i used to get many bullies around me they were always around me trying to bully me and trouble me i tried to even get rid of them by telling them uh, telling about them to the teachers but they hit me they hit me they hit me so hard i could not move that day but yet i was i was motivated because i remembered my grandpa grandpa's grandpa grandfather's conversation i was still doing video editing every day i was taking time out of my school time and academics as soon as my grades started getting low my fa- family uh, family people my family did not let me video edit this is because again they believe academics is more important and yes i agree with that but not to the extent of your passion which i said so that there, there was a problem i studied for one unit test and i scored way amazingly i i topped in my whole class and from there on i promised my mom and dad that i will get good grades every time with video editing yes and this successfully happened i usually get good i usually got good grades and also good videos it was an easy solution for me i just had to study 3 to 4 hours a day and i used to video edit yes and yeah i i have seen in many places some children even though they like video editing or any other thing they will not study they will sit and do that which can cause which makes them into trouble and their parents always do not let them and they, many children lack in their passion i have a tip to those who really want to follow their passion and who are attending academics is the thing is that you need to study for at least a day you need to study otherwise your your laptop is gone for a day you don't even know when it vanished in thin air you can just give wake up one day and you can't find your laptop this is mostly because your fa- your father or mother took it to work yes and i have observed that many people after finding the solution don't try to do hard work so yes i did a lot of hard work according to me i made a lot of videos and yes i will still be making content to help people learn about technology thank you guys for giving a precious time to listen to my speech but yes i would also say a thing please help a person whoever is urging to learn technology or whoever is struggling with technology please help them however you can how much ever you can help them 
because it will mean a lot to them and it will make a world more happier place to live.